In this video, I'll be showing you how you can create a budget wallet. So to create a budget wallet, you need to head over to the Play Store. If you don't have the budget wallet app, you head over to the Play Store. Then you tap on the search option and then search for budget wallet. So after finding it, this is it over here. Budget wallet, crypto, Bitcoin. You tap it and then you tap install. I have already installed it, so I'm going to tap open. So after you install it, just tap open. After you open it, you're going to get this interface here. So you have two options. You can either create a new wallet or you're going to import a wallet. I'll assume that this is your first time creating a budget wallet. So what I'll do is tap create wallet. All right, so it's going to ask you to set a pin and you want to create a six digit pin. So I'm going to do that. You have to enter the pin twice. So I'll enter the pin the first time. After entering it, it's asking me to verify. So I have to enter the pin again to make sure that um, I haven't forgotten the pin or I just guessed random numbers to use. Okay, so it says we are creating your wallet. Your wallet is now ready. It says wallet successfully created. Now I'll tap got it. What you want to do is back up your wallet. So if you tap on this backup up here, you're going to see some options. You can read all of this if you want, but I'm not going to do that. Just tap, make sure this is checked. You can tap this to check it, and then you tap backup mnemonics. So you have to enter your pin after tapping it. Then it's going to show you a blood version of your backup seed phrase. Now, this is something you want to keep personal, private, and um, safe. And make sure you always have access to it in case of anything. So you can tap on the screen here and you're going to see your 12 seed phrases. So a lot of times when people get hacked, this is what they give to hackers. So always try to avoid giving this to anyone. So just imagine that this is your password. Don't give it to anyone, just keep it safe. Um, if you want to know how I back up my seed phrases, I'll leave a link to a video that I made. I back up a lot of things the same way. So once you're done, getting a copy of this, your own seed phrase, tap. And next it's going to give you some random phrases to choose from um, so that it will be sure that you have a backup of the phrases. So I did not back up the phrases because I'll be creating a new wallet after making this video. What I'll do is go back. So it is asking me what the third word is. I'll check each word has a number attached to it. So I've seen it on the screenshot that I took. I'll tap it. Then the this 12th one, I can see it over here. And finally, the fourth one. So after I've selected all the words, according to how it was asked for, I'll tap confirm. And you can see it says backup succeeded. So that means that this wallet, as long as no one else has the password or the seed phrase, no one, no one can have access to it. So that is how you create a budget wallet. Um, if you wish to send crypto to your budget wallet, let's say, for example, you wanted to send the USDT, you can tap on USDT. It's always down there, but um, even if you don't find it down there, you can tap on receive and you can tap here to search for USDT. Okay, so after searching for it, you can see there are a lot of different networks of USDT. So you're going to have to ask the person sending you the USDT to tell you the network they want to use. Maybe I'll make a video about that later on, but yeah. So the first one is the Ethereum network, there's a Bitcoin network, and there's a Tron network. So let's just tap the Tron network. So you can see that this is the wallet address for USDT, for the Tron network USDT. So you can copy this and send it to the person that wants to send you USDT through the Tron network. But that's basically how you create your budget wallet. If you found it helpful, like this video helpful, please give the video a like. And if you want more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. You can ask me any questions you have and I'll be very happy to respond or make a video answering your question. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye-bye.